Hello there. Happy October. It's things are getting spooky. And the good folks at Retrotainment Games just uh, sent me the demo of their latest NES game, Haunted Halloween 87, Year of the Witch. This is their third and final chapter of the Haunted Halloween trilogy. And so I'm going to load it up on my retro USB AVS and check it out. They are running a Kickstarter between now and Halloween. A link for this will be in the description. And looks like they're doing pretty good so far. Um, so it will be the 10 year anniversary of their first game. And they will have, uh, it's now a trilogy, the Haunted Halloween trilogy. And it says that they're, uh, let's see, are they going to be releasing these, uh, the previous games? Because I do not have the previous games. So this game is going to feature broomstick rides. Uh, uh, let's see. Upgrade smash, upgrade smashable objects. Very cool. Wall jumps. And, ooh, wall jumps. Blocking. So it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up against zombies. It's going to have witches, flying skulls, spooky ghosts, vaporous apparitions, ground keepers, headless scarecrows, attacking pumpkins, and old favorites. So, looks cool. Let's see. There's going to be digital handshake. Uh, $10 will get you the NES ROM and Steam key for PC. Um, $15 for the, ooh, all three ROMs. I might do that. Uh, cartridge only. So $50 for the cartridge version. CIB backer exclusive 60 trilogy box set. So all three, ooh, $200 for all three, uh, box games. I got a pumpkin spice cat. Pumpkin spice cat right here. Want to be part of the Halloween festivities. Yeah. He's, he's pumpkin. And he's spicy. <laughs> All right, let's check out the game. Or the demo. All right, Haunted Halloween Year of the Witch 87. Or Haunted Halloween 87 Year of the Witch. Let's see, tutorial plus demo, demo onslaught. I have not played this anymore, so there's no shame to actually going through the demo. The tutorial. So, hey, Donnie, check out these power move posters I put up. Cool, kid. Uh, practice all the power moves until you feel ready. Uh, start plus A to skip. Right on. I'll knock the heads off. I'll knock the... Uh, right on. I'll knock tall zombie heads off. Kid zombies, I can just pummel. Okay. So, tall zombies, you can punch, but uppercut... Throw. Power moves. Double jump. Sweet. Let's see. What was pick up? Pick up was near item down in B. I don't think I can pick that up. Forward dash attack. Enhance power, enhance power moves by using this spell book. Press start to open, and then A on inventory to use them. Splash damage enemies as project, splash damage enemies as projectiles extend range. Real powerful stuff. It kills with, uh, and kills will prolong this effect. Sounds heavy. Okay, let's try the spell book. Nice. Supercharge throwable objects by using potions, even pumpkins. Don't run into them. Pick them up and smash them. I should have picked that up. Your skin turns dark green. You're about to become zombified. Find candy or tag out. Tammy has separate health. This candy makes everything better. You bet it does. Uh, stand over those and try 
blocking my crab apples. Press down before they hit you. So. I am not good at parrying. Nope. Tag out, select button. Sweet. Wall jump. Let's see. There. Got up there. Sewage! Alright, so I think I'm in the demo proper. So they're doing some, uh, f I'm not going to say fake parallax scrolling, but that's a trick where they have the one layer on a background and then moves at a different rate. So it gives the illusion of parallax scrolling. Nice. Punch up. So I love side-scrolling games. I love uh, games that you, you know, I mean, the NES just is so good for running, jumping, punching, that kinds of things. Um, so I'm getting a little bit of uh, some 2D River City Ransom vibes, especially with the artwork and the uh, straight up punching action. And uh, I love power-ups and that such. Let's see, can I jump up there? I have not played this before. Oh, I gotta go in there. Ooh. I got damaged. Really good play controls. I really like the use of blacks. Um, everything has a, let's see, I'm trying to see which is foreground. Okay, I can go down there. Ooh, spooky. I have not played the previous games and it's a shame. Let's see. Oh, that is jumping in the goo, the uh, toxic goo. So I like it when game developers have the option, or making NES games, or any indie NES developers, have the option to buy a ROM file, because I'm actually playing this on my EverDrive. Um, and so, you know, I, I, there are times that I want to support the game developers, but I'm not 100% certain I want to uh, pony up for it. Ooh, 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 nice double jump. Let's see if I can make it. No, oh, and that's where I died again. So let me, uh, do we got lives? I don't know. I like how fast you move. It's not as, uh, I'm not gonna fall in there. Do I need to go there? I don't know. Okay. I probably took more damage and died more than it would take if I just ignored that, but I have a hard time ignoring power-ups. Let's see. Oh, there, that is absolutely some Ninja Gaiden stuff right there. I'm doing some Ninja Gaiden style wall jumps. Nice. Ooh. Uh, it's always a leap of faith when you don't, you can't see the bottom. Nice.
right in the ectoplasm. By the way, I consider Ghostbusters canon. Ooh. A practitioner of Wiccan, or a Wiccan practitioner. I mean, I don't, I don't want to call her a witch, but, you know. Let's see. Up punch, get the zombie, throw the head. Ooh. Did she really? That, that is some decent, okay. Want to hop on this broom for a ride? Totally, we can grab the serum sodas up there. Yeah, and more crab apples. We'll need to throw. We'll need more to throw at enemies. Ooh, they got a side-scrolling shooter broom. Oh, that is nice. They got look, look, look at that. One, two, three different levels of parallax scrolling, or you know, improvised parallax scrolling. Um, now, this isn't going to come as a slam. I actually really like Abrebo Tengu um, or Zombie Nation. And let's see. Get that. Oh, yeah. So the whole flying around with uh, Parallax, that really reminds me a lot of Abrebo Tengu or Zombie Nation. Junkyard. Hmm. You know what? I am thinking about backing the um, digital version so I get the ROM. Oh, shoot. So $15 for the digital versions for three games, that is a bargain. So disclosure, the uh, developer sent me a copy of the demo and, um, but you know, this is my preview. My cat is yelling at me. But I'm having legit fun, and I'm thinking about uh, backing this for $15. 15 dollars. Fifteen. See, I know that the crows were mentioned as a returning enemy. Okay, I wasn't sure I was going into the ground. Well, I should tap out and get uh, play as her. I'm not 100% certain what her name is. Uh, the kicks, her kicking reminds me of Konami Girl. Ooh, upper, upper kick. Nice. Hmm. Guess. Okay. Jumped off. There we go. Okay. So when I die, um, both of your health meters are restored, so that's good. You're not, you know, having to farm health. Fourteen minutes into the video. Oh, okay. I want to at least get over that that um, cavern and see if there's any bosses to fight. Probably some bosses to fight. This is my first time playing this, by the way. Well, I played it for like two seconds while I was getting the video set up. But I did not spend any significant amount of time on it. Okay, my dude 
Don't know his name. He's taking some damage. Characters are nice and fast. I like that. Doesn't really feel like, a, you know, you're... Doesn't really have tank controls, is what I'm saying. Okay, she's gotten... Did, did some zombified damage. Uh, okay... Anyway, so there's Konami Man and Konami Girl. Konami Girl um, has kicks as her major attack, so that is my theory. That is a her kicking base attacks are a reference to that, which is a decent game that I endorse a reference to. I can't jump on the blue cars, but I can do the reds. Does anyone want this? Okay, probably need to go up there. I can always do the wall jumps. Oop. I guess I didn't need to do the wall jumps because... Oh, I can... okay, I got it. There's like an alley. Ouch. Try and figure out what is background graphics and what I can actually, you know, touch and interact with. Flying heads, ouch! And crows. You're nice and maneuverable, so I sort of feel like all the times that I've taken damage, it, it was my fault. It's not. It doesn't feel cheap, is what I'm saying. You got a good variety of moves to interact with, so the time that you do take damage, you sort of feel like, yeah, that, that's fair. Ah, come on, dude. Ninja Gaiden, well, ah. Uh. I think I'll play through the first boss if there is a boss. Probably. I was reading the uh, info, they were talking about bosses, so I'm assuming that there's bosses. So you can jump long enough to sort of go off both sides. Oh, there we go, got up there. Ooh, auto-scrolling. Stress inducing because I don't want to fall. Oh, shoot. Auto scrolling with falling to your death. Ouch. Well, Haunted Halloween, Year of the Witch, 87. Um, pretty cool. I, um, I'm thinking about packing this. So, uh, made by Retrotainment. Uh, this was the demo. Um, the Kickstarter is live now. And, this is 8-Bit Joystick. Stay awesome. Oh, the demo goes... The, the um, pre-order slash um, Kickstarter period goes through Halloween. So that's coming up there. And so this is 8-Bit Joystick. Stay awesome. Play retro.